Now, all of the work that we've done so far this term is going to have fruition here as we go into topic 5.4, solving quadratic equations by factoring. OK, so again, we're setting up a protocol. What is standard form? And you can write this again. AX squared plus BX plus C. This is the standard form of the quadratic expression. Once we equal that to 0, it's now in standard form of the quadratic equation. And that's what they're referring to here. Now, often in the software, they're going to ask for this in two steps. They're going to say, here's the quadratic equation. What would it be in factored form? Well, the first thing you'd have to do is put it in standard form. So 25x squared transpose what's on the right to the left as a negative 81 equals 0. But that's not what they want. They want you to factor this as step 1. Now, I don't know, but after inspecting this, can you see that this is the difference of perfect squares? And therefore would factor into its conjugates. That'll be 5x plus 9, 5x minus 9. So this is often the, the next step they want, and I'll have that in sort of a box. And they'll have it equal 0, and they want you to put the factors of this. Then in the next box, they're going to ask you to solve it. And as we illustrated in our flip classroom video, you equate each of these factors to zero using the zero factor principle. That in order for this to be true, either A or B or both have to be a zero because zero times anything is zero. So here, this would be the factor A. We're saying that equals 0. So when we solve it, we're going to transpose the 9. That becomes a negative 9. And then we have, in a sense, 5x left on this side. And we're going to divide both sides by 5. And we get then one of the answers is a negative 9 fifths. And this one, when we transpose the 9, the negative 9 on this side, it becomes a positive 9. And again, dividing by 5, this would be a positive 9 fifths. So there is the first example. So again, as we do the second one, and we'll write it big here, y squared plus 5y equals uh, plus 6, I should say. equals 0. Now, that's in standard form. This is an easy one. We're going to factor it. And let me give you a moment for that. OK, this is y, y. Factors of 6 that add up to 5, a 3 and a 2. They're both going to be plus equal each of these factors to 0. So here we're going to get y equals, just transpose, a negative 2. And here y equals a negative 3. OK, again, we're showing you a protocol now of how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Now, for number 3, they're not showing you what the original equation might have looked like. And it would probably look like this, x squared minus 81. 
Well, this is the difference of perfect squares, and it would factor into its conjugates. And there are the conjugates equaling zero. Now, in our flipped classroom video, we said the way to do this was x minus 9 equals 0, or x plus 9 equals 0. Uh, the way I was doing is I was doing a little shortcut here. And then here you just transpose x equals 9, x equals a negative 9. So again, the protocol. Now, if they give you factors that are already equal to zero, then it's just a matter of taking each of these factors and equaling it to zero. But let me mention that sometimes you'll get something like this, x plus three equal or parenthesis x minus four equals two. Now, remember, unless it's equal to zero, you can't use this technique. What you would have to do if you had one like this where it was originally two here is foil this, bring the two over so that eventually it equals zero, and then factor it again. So a little caution there. Now, as we look at number four, imagine you had something like this. This is in standard form. There is no C term. But is there a common factor here? Yes, we could factor out a 5x. And then we're left with x plus 3 equals 0. So what they're doing is they're not giving us this. They're giving us it in its factored form. Again, it's equal to 0. So the protocol for this would be 5x equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. So here you're going to divide both sides by 5 and get x equals 0. And here, just transpose the 3, x equals negative 3. Again, I'm not sure why they're not doing it this way, because this is often how it would appear on a test. You'd have to factor it, equal each factor to 0, and this is the solution. Now, remember, what we're doing here as well is showing you the protocol, the strategies, for solving quadratic equations. All right, let's write this one out big here. So this is 8x squared minus 3x. Now, it's not in standard form, so we have to take this 5, transpose it, and then equal it to 0. All right, so take a few moments. See what you can come up with in factoring it. Now, I'll give you a hint. This is going to be 8x and x. And 5 is prime, so see where you could put the 5. So if we put the 5 there and the 1 there, and then what signs are we looking for? where our outers would need to be negative and our inners positive so that we would end up at, as a middle term in our trinomial as negative 3x. And again, if you FOIL this, you get what we have here. So again, the protocol 8x plus 5 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. Here we're going to transpose the 5. That gives us a negative 5. And we're going to divide by 8. So x equals a negative 5 eighths. Here, just transpose x equals 1. 
Now, when you do your test on this, this is the work I would expect for you to get full credit on a correct answer. Uh, during this term, we are particularly concerned with the proper work to support your answers. And we're saying the work is three points. The correct answer is only one point. And you can often get partial credit, even though you don't get the correct answers, by showing the work. And uh, as I look at it, I'm able to verify that you can earn partial credit. Now, for number six, this is sort of an old friend. Let's change colors here. We want to get rid of the fractions. So what will we multiply every term by? Well, the common denominator is 5. So here, the 5s will cancel out. You just get 3x squared. Again, the 5 will cancel out, and you get 3x. Now, the 5 is not going to cancel out here. So you get a negative 60 equals 0. But notice, we can now divide everything here by something that will make this a little easier. And as you can see, we can divide everything by 3. So this now becomes x squared minus 1x. We don't write the 1. And this is a negative 20 equals 0. So take a moment. Get you involved here. Factor it. And let's see what you end up as solutions. So this would be x, x, 5, 4, negative plus, and I'll use my shortcut here, x equals negative 4, x equals 5. All right, let's pause here and see if you have a question. Now, in number 7 here, Again, this is factored, but it's not equaling 0. So we need to FOIL this. I'll do it over here. x squared. Outers are a five, negative 5. Inners, a positive 2. So this becomes a negative 3x minus 10 equals 44. I'm just switching things around here a little bit. Now, to put this in standard form, x squared minus 3x, transpose this 44 over to this side as a negative 44. This gives us a negative 54, and that equals 0. Now we're going to factor that. Let me pause and see what you get. All right, x, x, 9 times 6 is 54, and has a difference of 3. This will be negative, this will be positive. Using my shortcut, here x equals negative 6. Here x equals, transposing that, a 9. So again, if you know the protocol, it's not too bad. And uh, the, the ones that we're factoring aren't that difficult. But again, you may run into some. And you, again, I can give partial credit for all of this. But again, you must show the work. So in review, we're using throughout here the concept of A times B equals zero. The zero factor property to solve quadratic equations by factoring. They must be in standard form. Factor on the left 
equal each factor to zero, and those are your solutions. Okay, we'll keep this one a little short.